Yarbrough, William P. Yarbrough. He was my bombardier navigator, sat next to me. When we got hit, we weren't able to talk to each other because of the plane was tumbling, it broke in half. So I ejected. I'm on the ground now, and I look over maybe 100 yards, 200 yards away, and there's a smoking hole where the airplane went in. And so I hollered for, for Bill, and he never answered. It's got all 58,000 people that died in Vietnam are, are on that wall. Was shot down and uh, spent six years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. I'm here today, I'm 89 years old and still cooking. I met Alan in 92, and I've never met a man that is really a true gentleman till I met Alan. He's absolutely the love of my life. She's a nurse, I mean, a PACU nurse, which is recovery for like 20 some years. She keeps track of things and she takes my blood pressure and she arranges the pills that I take and so forth. And she's always taking care of me. I have a regimen every day that I uh, do a, a stretching, then I hike over at the park. I play golf. I mean, when I came to Pensacola back in 1976, I was walking the uh, course. And then I went to riding in the summer, eventually. From there, you go to riding the whole 18. He couldn't even finish a round of golf, and I knew that wasn't Alan. I knew something was going on, and even going up the steps was very tedious for him. And my mind's kind of in overdrive, and I'm thinking, what are we gonna do? Is this really happening? What I'm thinking is gonna happen? And I was scared, I really was. To me, I couldn't tell, is it a heart problem or is it just old age? But then this cardiologist, Dr. Mudury, told me uh, over a year ago that I was having this aortic stenosis and that uh, I probably needed a valve change. He says, if you don't do it, it's gonna cut way down on your remaining time of your life. Almost all of my major parts of my body were, were being deprived of oxygen. I think in any procedure, especially in someone in their 80s, that the ability to have a really large level of confidence that you have complete control over the procedure, uh, that you have a stable patient the whole procedure, and that you can be confident in what your final result will be uh, is incredibly important. So when he had come to see us, we mentioned we have a large experience having used Lotus in the past, have had very, very good results with the technology. And when having that conversation that I felt that this really afforded us the, maybe the greatest opportunity of having that type of result, it left them very confident in proceeding with Lotus Edge procedure. I was very assured it was going to work out. I mean, he was calm and explained it very carefully, so I understood what they were going to do. He was going to be fine. He's in their hands now. They're going to take care of him. They made me feel better, too. In one way or another, I can use this in every case. For any other area where I really worry about the ability to um, get a perfect result, I know that I can get that perfect result with Lotus Edge. You know, I don't know enough about any of the valves to say this one or that one, but the Lotus Edge for him was the answer. Mr. Brady had an excellent result. He had the TAVR procedure done on a Tuesday, was up and moving around later that day, and was home by Thursday feeling significantly better. When he came back to see us within a month, uh, he had uh, still had no leakiness of his valve. It was working perfectly. He was able to get back to his life. Uh, he was active again, no breathing difficulties anymore. His recovery was if it's such a thing as instant, it was instant. So it's like he's getting blood to the areas he hasn't had blood to in years. And I said, everywhere? <laughs> I think the main thing is, is your, your amount of energy you have. You've got the energy to, to keep going. The 
It's amazing to me that they can do this. It's probably the easiest surgery I've ever had. His color's good, his energy level is great, and he's even offering to help me do chores around here, which I love that. I'm trying to keep up with him. I want to see if I can get a tavern. <laughs> I just felt like a normal person, you know, walking a couple of miles out there. The heart is ticking away. It's like getting a new lease on life all of a sudden. You can go out there and go up and down the stairs. You can go play golf. It's like 20 years ago. To me, he is a hero, and he's my hero. Lotus Edge is one of the centerpieces of a whole new era for the company in structural art. It really puts the capstone on an incredibly broad, comprehensive portfolio that makes a great difference in the world. With that unique portfolio, we're going to be totally different on what we can offer that patient. And we're going to be looking at that patient in its totality. All this reflects the relentless, unwavering desire to continually improve the quality of patients' lives.